Hey hey and welcome to this video. My name is Nina and in today's video we are going to be building a forgotten camper van and we are also going to be working on an abandoned field kind of. So let me show you the area that we will be working in today. So we have this huge space that I have also not finished flattening the background of but we will ignore that. We will just focus on what is right in front of us. Okay, without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Okie dokie. So I'm starting off by kind of just extending this little road that we had going on, going through the city that we built in the previous videos. And then I just kind of started planting some weeds and creating a little fencing situation. Yeah, other than that, it's not too much in the beginning, but we are kind of going to be going for a little weed abandoned field looking thing. We're also going to incorporating some flowers that I have left from my last item because I was mentioning before that I wanted to maybe incorporate some blue flowers as well. So we're also going to be popping some pops of blue here and there. Then just still sticking to our very cool toned color scheme and implementing some white flowers, some green flowers, some pumpkins, some mum cushions and stuff like that to kind of just spice up the field a little bit and yeah so in the beginning you will see that I kind of started by laying down so so many weeds uh, in a minute or two but that all will change throughout the video because I then decided to lay down some in-game pathing to kind of be the base of the field and give this this very dried out kind of soil looking look so yeah, that's all gonna change. And I sped up the whole weed planting, weed watering, because I had to time travel quite a bit for this because I wanted the weeds to kind of grow in. I know that the weeds from fall would be better for this one, but I do still really want to work with this brownish looking grass that we get on the 1st of March. So I think we're gonna stay in this time of year. And it also works very well, well with our pops of blue here and there and our very cool toned color scheme because it looks like it's still very cold outside. But yeah, while I'm doing all of that, I just wanted to give you a short little disclaimer. My day has been, let's say it has been a little bit rough a little bit rough along the edges and um, if I do sound a little bit exhausted or tired or low energy that might very well be because I am exhausted, tired and low energy. So we will just suck it up and get through this together and we will just hope that this brightens our day a little bit and I don't want to sound unexcited for this build because oh boy. I am excited for this build. I did not even think that this would turn into its own actual build, but it was so much fun building this and experimenting with this whole abandoned theme. It's just so much fun for me and also figuring out this whole simple panel perspective building stuff and finding my own solutions. It's just so much fun for me and like trying out new aspects of the game because I have played it for I think a thousand and 300 hours by now and I have had the game since November of 2020 so that's not that long <laughs> so I'm very excited to try out some new stuff and it was very therapeutic kind of also to lay down the in-game pathing and stuff and I love how that looks it's also why I didn't cut it out but sped it up so so much because I thought it was just so satisfying to see all the pathing get laid out that quickly. It almost looks like a smooth line, just slowly closing in into a finished rectangle kind of. <laughs> and um, I'm very excited for this. So I just then started to pluck some more weeds and I will also pluck many, many more of those because I still had too many weeds on my island for some reason, even though I don't think I've hit the weed limit yet. And I have picked all of them from my previous island. So I'm not sure why that was, but I had to pick some weeds and I had to time travel, I think about three months for this to actually work. So it was a lot of fun for me. That was not so satisfying to do actually, or too calming. I gotta admit that. That was kind of a bit of a pain in the <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But yeah, then I had to just time travel, water the weeds. I'm still not sure if that even does something, but it did spread some of my flowers. So I'm pleased with that because the blue and the green mums, like the blue flowers and the green mums are kind of rare, at least for me. So I was very pleased that some of those spread and duplicated. Yeah, so I then just did my little 
whooshy de whoosh magic with time traveling. Yeah, I also left some of this in because I thought it was fun <gasps> to see how this actually came into being and how I did it and that it actually takes a little more work than just throwing down some weeds just in case you want to do that so that you know what goes into it and what not and such. So um, yeah, then I just, after I, I time traveled enough, I just went back in, went back on the 1st of March and then just kind of cleaned up the weeds a little bit and added in some more pops here and there. And at this point, it still wasn't feeling full enough for me. So I then decided to also add some more flowers. I was initially just going to pop in very, very, very few, but I really love the pops of blue, especially how they go with all the weeds and such. So I really love how that looked. And then I just continued on to work a little bit on the sides of the field. So for this I kind of wanted to block it off so that you wouldn't ruin the perspective build that we're going to be doing in the back part of this field in a second. I also noticed that I forgot to stunt this tiny little tree that I wanted to be a small young cedar, not a fully grown cedar, so I had to replant that which was just a lot of fun. <gasps> So always stunt your trees and I did stunt it. I just put the little nursery right behind the cliff so it wouldn't block off the path where I could work with the space and you don't even see it because the cliff is in front of it. And then I just added in some fencing and I'm also going to play around with some items to block off this area. And I was kind of thinking about leading this tiny little pathway off to the right here. I'm not sure where it's gonna lead just yet, but I wanted the path to kind of continue after this. I'm still not sure whether you can also go to the left or if I will block that off too. I'm unsure about that yet, depending on what the areas around this will be. And then I also, I downloaded this newspaper coat, which I initially wanted to go on like some scattered papers or some magazines and such, but I had some fun playing around with putting it on the ground and making it feel like someone was trying to lift like off the grid or just trying to survive whatever happened here because this is an abandoned island that was kind of left behind because this is exactly the thing that The Last of Us, which is a big inspiration for this island, is kind of. So <laughs> that's exactly the aesthetic that I was trying to nail down. Just a city that was left behind by its people because of some natural or, or less natural um, disaster kind of. So um yeah maybe it was a pandemic who knows <laughs> so yeah this is basically what this is so i thought a camper van build would just be perfect and i have been wanting to do one on my island anyways i have done that on the first iteration of drops but i hated it i'm not gonna lie i even hated it right after i did it because i didn't do the illusion part of it very well so i wanted to try that again and i just used the same technique that i used on my last island for the garden shed yeah and i really love this custom coat because it's rusty and green which is perfect because those are the two main colors i feel like on this island and it works perfectly with this metal looking roof rusted roof type of coat that I have had before so that's just perfect because it wasn't taking up another slot for the stalls and also for the simple panels I just used a very very dark rusted custom design so that it just looks like a dark window if you would look at it from the front of it so that it looks like it's just dark inside of the van and you couldn't can't really see what's inside of it so yeah that's basically what I was going for and I also popped some things on the stall just to give it some dimension and it looks like something is actually in there and someone was actually living inside of it. Yeah, in front of it and around it I just decided to plant some trees. I'm not sure if this whole back part will be covered in a forest type of situation. I'm not sure about that yet. Up until now it's just like this tiny little forest only around the camper van which I'm also really loving so I'm not sure what's gonna go around it and then later we will just see how I played around with some items so I will include some abandoned looking furniture pieces such as cardboard boxes or a camping cot and such so that it really looks like someone was trying to live here and maybe it didn't work out too well and they had to leave the island too or they didn't make it that may sound a little bit morbid but that's exactly kind of what I was going for as bad as that sounds I'm just really loving this whole aesthetic at the moment and I love the color scheme because it is so simple and so 
I don't know, the, the simplicity of it is just so beautiful to me, I don't know why. And I also just love The Last of Us and I have been wanting to do something with its aesthetic for a while now. And we had a last item which I will re return because at the moment <laughs> my house's floor is completely covered, not completely covered, but there are quite a few lost items lying around there because I am very bad at giving them back to my villagers and I can't lie, whenever one of the brown or blue books like the, the types of the lost item are lying around somewhere on my land. I may not give them back on purpose because I think they look cute and I want to use them for decorational purposes. And I also popped in a palm tree because as I found out as I was building the city, I want to include some palm trees on this island because I have not done that before. And I thought I never would, especially since I don't even like to use the palm trees too much on the beaches. But I thought it would just work perfectly for this island because they bend so nicely and it just looks very enclosed whenever you put a palm tree next to like a little seating nook or something. So I definitely wanted to try that and I love how that turned out, especially hinter the... Hinter. I just went for a German there especially behind the camper van there. I just think that just works very well. Like imagine you would camp somewhere. Wouldn't you want to do that underneath some trees and especially a palm tree if you go for a vacation or stuff like that? I just think that works very well. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, as to the right here, I just popped down some newspaper codes and then added some cardboard boxes and a cardboard bed to just give off this feeling of this being a little seating area where someone was just sitting by the fire that is now obviously not working anymore, not turned on. And then I just wanted to pop in some, some tiny items to spice this up. So I added this stovetop espresso maker to also tie in this whole metal thing that I want to incorporate a lot more on this island and tie in with the greys and cooler stony metal elements kind of. And yeah, I'm also, I think I will use these so much, the green mush partition. I just love that customization of it so much i just think it looks beautiful and obviously it works very well with this island so i'm very pleased with that and then to the left here i just added a cardboard box and a pile of zen cushions which i will play around with a little bit i wasn't sure how i wanted the height variations to kind of be situated so i wasn't sure whether i wanted the mush partition to be the tallest item or if i wanted to stack some items on top of each other to create some height in the back there because i am working on improving my grouping of items a little bit and i have been doing that for the past island too and i just think everything looks so much more finished and put together whenever you do that instead of just filling up random spaces and scattering all the items just randomly about the whole area so i think that just helps out a lot with making everything just feel complete and full and lived in kind of which is also what we want we want this to feel lived in but also abandoned and forgotten kind of and then obviously i needed to include some utility poles or i think i'm only going to be including one because i want to use these on my island because i have never used them before and i just love how they look yeah and obviously with a city inspired island that just works very well and i also love how the camping cot looks and it just brings in the whole grayish muted kind of dead looking colors again which i just love i also added a little barrel to the back and next to the camper van to just fill up that random hole that was created by the tree that is not close enough to the camper van to fill that blank space so i added in this little barrel to fill that up and keep the light kind of from coming through so that it looks very dark and like not scary but like you know it's just supposed to feel very dark and, and lost and such. <laughs> also, I just saw in the corner of my eye that there were some flowers overgrown in the city. So if you notice that as we will do the final tour and stuff, please ignore because I had to pluck all the other weeds from this island in order to make this work and have all of the weeds on this field grow in. So I will need to go back and plant all the weeds that I have done in the entrance and in the main abandoned street that was inspired by the last of us kind of thing i think i titled it the last of us 2 inspired abandoned street or something like that which is a mouthful i don't know why i title my videos that way but you know <laughs> Yeah, and I also wanted to incorporate some mushrooms just to make this really feel abandoned because I feel like mushrooms only grow on things that are forgotten or left out for too long. And I am also going to be working a tiniest bit 
around the whole field but I'm not gonna finish that just because I'm not sure what will go next to or behind this area again and I want everything to just flow together very nicely so I'm keeping keeping my options open with that but I just add some pathing some trees some fencing and stuff but that might change I'm not sure again I just want everything to come to me naturally and flow together very naturally so yeah and then I just basically sprinkled in some more finishing touches and yeah then that was it for this build it's actually it's not that much of a build but it just took so long and it was so much fun I would never expect this to be so much fun honestly because I thought it would just plop down some weeds and then just put down that camper van and that's it but I played around with it so much and I feel like it looks very interesting and just makes a very nice backdrop for the street that we have leading up to it actually it turned out exactly how I imagined it and and was wanting for it to so I just love how that works I also have this little code that looks like a cart or something was dragged through the dirt and I wanted to add that somewhere I just didn't want to use a garden well wagon for that because a garden wagon with all the flowers just felt too whimsical and cute so I decided to go with hand cart I know that it doesn't make much sense the way it's turned like in in relation to how the kind of lines on the ground look but we will just imagine that it works you know someone just turned the, the hand cart around after they dragged it there <laughs> and then behind this little campfire corner that I did I also wanted to add in a little bamboo tree just to bring in the green because I felt like to the left of it we had this huge green mush partition and we also had the chopped bamboo to kind of to that side so I wanted to include some more bright greens to the right side also what I wanted to mention is that I did update my upload schedule but that might not have been the best timing since <laughs> there won't be a stream this week on Thursday so we will continue on with the streams next week. I did try out to add in some windmills like some wind turbines but that just didn't work out it just felt too lively and alive still and I want this to feel lost forgotten abandoned kind of dead kind of dead that sounds way too morbid but and I also added in this little paper stack which I know that does not make too much sense as the paper would have probably already either withered away or blown away but I just imagine it to have gotten very very wet and it just now is a clump of paper so we will ignore that I, I just think it looks cute okay yeah then I actually just sprinkled in some more finishing touches so I'm gonna leave you now with a montage of the finished product if you enjoyed this video I would very much appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel as I would love to have you here and yeah take care of yourself until next time and bye bye